So this is episode two of the skid loader, track loader build. It's built and it functions. I didn't take anything along the way as usual. I was in a mad dash to get it done in time for our skill builders guild man to come down and visit and play. We were supposed to do some challenges. Naturally, we didn't. We just got caught up in playing and having fun. And here's some clips of the fun. that look fun anyway I didn't get to doing all the stickers but I wanted to at least get some Bobcat stickers cut those out on my Cricut if you hadn't noticed this was painted Sunbelt Rentals green I thought it'd be a little more exciting than just doing it in the standard Bobcat color scheme so I'll do some Sunbelt stickers and and the intention is to eventually weather it to make it look like a used beater rental. Let's say a review here. It's printed all in PETG, uh, aside from the tracks that are TPU. I treated it like any other 
3D printed body that I would do. I sanded and filled and I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I just printed it out and made it go. At least I wanted to treat it like a build, not just printing a thing out and putting it together. So that took some extra time. I even did the effort to sand and smooth the bottom even though it was going to get scratched up, which is cool. It's pretty neat. See all that? Still some dust and dirt falling out from playing out in the quarry. They were a lot of fun. Can't you tell how excited I am? But yeah, I just want to get rid of all my trucks and just build more construction equipment. And you imagine has plenty of stuff. That's where I got this file from that. I'll link that. And then there'll be a link of the video Skill Builders Guild did of these out there goofing around. One thing to note, both of us had the wrong linear actuators in. They were slightly longer, I think. They were like a centimeter long here, five millimeters here. And we figured, oh, well, that would be good enough. But as you can see, can't lay the bucket down flat. I've already changed it to the correct one. I found it on Amazon because they aren't created equal. Even if it's the same voltage, speed, and whatever, make sure you get it right. I thought, what's five millimeters going to do? Well, it did everything. So it did make it hard to scoop and lift the bucket without spilling because it was always in a downward fashion. So I even painted those to match. This is the original one. I haven't changed it yet. These are the ones I'm waiting to put in. Painted those as well. And then the piston part. I guess I sanded it and uh, polished it with some aluminum polish to give it more of that realistic look of a hydraulic cylinder. And coming around here, that's Pappy Smagen, of course. I resin printed the lenses. Realism, Pappy's in there. Didn't do a whole lot inside the cab. Um, zip tied him in there. I want to make the, you know, like the lap bar, safety bar for these that come down over the driver, you know. Just I'll print that, design that, print that. It's not included in the file. I think that'd be a cool little touch. Maybe make some little foot pedals. Made the grab handles out of some 12 gauge copper wire I had. There's a little bending template in the files too. And the bucket. Yeah, I even sanded that, filled it, all that. And then I made a cutting edge out of some metal scrap. For a little more realism and hopes that it would do a better job of scooping, and that opens. Did break that little piece off. Drilled two holes, put the zip tie in, wrapped it around Pappy. And here's my mess. So I'm kind of dumb with stuff. I'm not really an electronics master. So this is how I wired it up. Got two ESCs uh, and then each ESC has a little tiny guy ESC for each pair of linear actuators and then I put the, put the actuators together and then ran the lead to the little ESC, and I'm running, drawing power for each side off that. And then uh, 
I need two batteries. I guess I made this and I suppose that would work. So I was running smaller batteries, two of each, but then I got these from Hobby King. They just sent two of these out. So I would like to be able to fit these in somehow. But this mess. But because that would give some more weight too down low for crawling. Oh, it just barely doesn't fit. Oh, so close. Oh, ta da. Yep, this is usually my standard wiring. Just total mess. Boom. Those two 3300 3-cell Turnigy batteries do fit bat batteries. That'd be great. And I'd just like to take a moment and express how much I enjoy Turnigy batteries. I've been using them for my entire RC career, and that's no lie. And I've been doing this a while. All right, let's take a moment, talk about these batteries. What makes them so great? Well, I'll tell you. 3300 milliamp, 30C discharge, three cell, 11.1 .1 volt, LiPo batteries. Why are they so great? Well, they're affordable. I can afford them, you know, these ones were given, but I can buy them. They're safe. It's lighter and smaller than a standard version. These shorty series are compatible with various models. I mean, look, they fit in this skid loader. It's crazy. They're shorties. And you know, on the street, that's what they call me. So if you like performance and affordability, and you gotta fit them in to a weird thing, Go for these. These were, these were 20 bucks. And I ain't never had an issue with none of these. For real. Anyway, thanks Hobby King. You're great. Let's get back to whatever this is. Let's turn around and see what happens. Beep. Beep boop. Oh. I never had a stick radio before. Isn't that fun? So I want to do the mini excavator next to go with this. All that in there. Let's see. Here we go. Whoa. I tried to set up the controls like a real one would be, um, but once again, I'm kind of an idiot, and I just couldn't figure out how to do the channels and the mixing and the controls. And the trouble with this is it doesn't have an auto centering uh, left joystick thing. They make a kit which I need to get still to center that because. I have my bucket and lift on this and it kind of, if you're steering or whatever, you get sidetracked and you're dumping your, whatever. That's it. Anyway, tons of fun. A little, on the dirt, a little coming out of the track, isn't that great? Whoa, that's turn energy power. See what I mean? And I know from my classic videos of battery reviews, we usually go through the pumpkins or through the corn or over the pumpkins or the wet grass, but all that's done been harvested. 
Well, I'll tell you, this could easily go through the wet grass. And it can lift a pumpkin. Well, I could probably at least do that for you. Hold on. Pumpkin. Can it lift a pumpkin? With ease. Can it dump a pumpkin? It can dump a pumpkin. Can it scoop a pumpkin? Well, that I don't know. Because I can't curl my bucket enough still. Oh, I almost had it. Maybe in the third video, we will scoop a pumpkin. I'll have that fixed. I'll have more decals. Uh, all that stuff. So, let me know what you think. I think it's terrific. And I'm quite impressed with my ability to make this function. I wasn't really concerned with the being able to put it together thing, but to make it actually function and um, do stuff, quite stoked. Highly recommend. Links to where to get this and download it, print it yourself. And thanks for your patience. I know I haven't been uploading a lot. I'm sure a lot of you are losing sleep over it. But just know everything's cool. I'm just having fun with some other projects and hobbies right now. Leave a comment. Let me know if you're going to build one of these. Or tell me some of your other hobbies. Maybe we have some in common. Okay, bye.